In this lecture, we're going to look at using active loads for uh, the load circuit for our amplifiers. Uh, and this is because in integrated circuits, resistors are very large. Uh, so we want to use a transistor uh, as a replacement. We know that transistors are small in an integrated circuit process. So here, if we look at our common source amplifier, uh, we know uh, from inspection that the voltage gain for this amplifier is minus GM times RD in parallel with the output resistance of the transistor. Okay, so if we want to get high gain out of this, we know that we need to do one of two things. First would be to raise GM. Remember, GM is equal to 2ID over VOV. So one way to raise GM would be to increase ID. And this is a problem. So if we look at increasing the drain current through this resistor, we're going to get a larger voltage drop across the resistor. And if VRD is too large, the transistor leaves saturation. Alternatively, we could try to increase RD. But this gives us the same problem. OK, so we uh, have a motivation that we need to seek uh, to use something else as a load. And of course, we're going to start looking at using a transistor as a load. As an aside, why are resistors big on an IC? Well, the way that we make these is we use a high resistivity material. And this might be something like an undoped in well or a lightly doped in well. Uh, it could be uh, unsilicided poly. Uh, other materials, uh, basically just materials that have very low conductivity. Uh, but even these materials don't have such a low conductivity that they don't uh, require a lot of material. So the way that we take these, that we would make this is to meander a line made out of this material. And of course this would equate to a resistance between the two terminals. So the problem with this is that this shape can be huge. Just to get 100 kilo ohms. Even to get 10 kilo ohms, it can be big. OK. So I think we've motivated why we need to uh, move on. And what we're going to do next is look at what types of loads we have and what types of load would be ideal.